Hey, 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 Mary Ann here, the crotchety clogger. Guess what I did? This is take two. Because I forgot to hit the button the first time. And I got happy mail. <laughs> okay, so I'll do it all over again. There just won't be that element of surprise. Because I was, oh, okay, I'll get to that in a minute. I'm still surprised. Okay, let me show you what I've done since I last spoke to you last Tuesday. Because Tuesday, today is Tuesday, August 24th. Have I said that already? Anyway, I've made a couple more hats since last Tuesday for Hat Not Hate. If you haven't heard of Hat Not Hate, it is an anti-bullying campaign. And it is sponsored by Lion Brand. So if you go to hatnothate.org, O-R-G, you can find out all about it. They've extended their deadline for us, 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 us all of us, us, to donate blue hats uh, against bullying. And they've extended their deadline to September the 18th, I think. I might be wrong on that, but I know it's mid-September sometime. About ready to send mine off. I got to do a final count and see what I'm going to be happy with. But anywho, <clears throat> the first one I completed, I'm trying to find the back seam here. I guess that's a good sign when you can't find it. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, there it is. This one, look at that. This one is called the Unity Beanie. And it was, this pattern is created by Jax over at Creations by Jax. And I will link her YouTube channel down below, but I love it. Look there. Look at that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And you can go over to, uh, if you go Google uh, creationsbyjax.com, it'll take you to her website, <clears throat> and you can obtain the pattern for the Unity Beanie over there. All right, but I love it. And I made both of these hats I'm going to show you this one and the other one I made out of uh, <clears throat> Hobby Lobby's Yarn B Soft and Sleek Low Peel Fiber. Fight, fight, fight. Right? Anyway, fight, yeah. Low Peel Acrylic, you know. And this colorway is called Light Blue. And then I combined that with the, the uh, same thing called, it's same yarn. And this one's called Denim Blue. But anyway, so I did the Unity Beanie, Jax's Unity Beanie, and I also did a Bag of Days, uh, I think this is still her newest hat, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's called Blurred Lines, this Blurred Lines Beanie by Crystal over at Bag of Day Crochet, and I will link this pattern down below too. I enjoyed making them. I, like I said, I'm going to have to do a final count on my hats and and see if I'm, I'm done. Excuse me. Okay, and then the other thing I'm working on, which I'm not completely finished with yet, is a, a back scrubber. You know, a, a back scrubber for the bathtub or the shower. And this pattern is by Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And, um, I promised her when I got this pattern many moons ago that I would make two, one for myself and one to donate, and I think I'll make many more. And I'm sorry, Laura, it took me a long time to, to, you know, produce my end of the bargain here, but finally I did. I am making it out of Yarn B Scrubology Scrub It. I'm sorry for all the messy, but I'm using the white Scrub It yarn and then I'm using the, I love this cotton, and the name of this is Stonewash. So I'm using those two. And there's one handle. Here's the scrubby stuff. And that's mixed with the cotton, right? So double strand of that. And here I'm working on the second handle. But this is going quick and easy, so I should have gone on it a long time ago. Anyway, I'm finally on it. I'm going to make a few of them. Now, the center part, the scrubby part right here, uh, it's done with a size K hook. 
Yep. And I only the only K hook I had was this one right here. I don't know what kind it is. It don't say. It's an old one that I found in my, my mama's, my late mom's things. But my hand holding two together with it, this what wasn't very pleasant. So anyway, I went to Amazon and I ordered me a Clover Amore size K. And I'm glad I did. Because I think that'll feel better. Next one I make, I'll use that one. Now, you may have to email Laura at Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. I'll link her YouTube channel below, but you may have to email her as far as obtaining a pattern for this uh, back scrubber. But anyway, that is fun. So I received some happy mail from Jax of Creations by Jax. And like I said, this is my take two, so, so you don't have to watch me open it up. But there was a pretty little card enclosed with a butterfly. And the card actually says, just a little treat for the babies. Um, and what she means by that, I don't, I ain't got no babies. <laughs> but what she means by that, guys, is she sent me a beautiful baby blanket. And it's, it's to donate to the Baptist Children's Home and Ministries. Um, recently, I'm not exactly sure when, it may have been June or July, uh, they moved their new mommy and baby ministry. I don't know the technical term for that, but they moved them from the, uh, in the mountains they had, a, a, was where they were located in North Carolina mountains, and they've moved them here to my hometown. So. Uh, they're on the same campus as the Baptist Children Home, Children's Home and other ministries that they provide for. So anyway, her intent was to send this to me and um, send it over to them. And it is beautiful, guys. It is beautiful. Whatever beautiful little baby gets this will surely appreciate it. Now this is called Yaya's boy. Is that not just the most beautiful thing? It's beautiful. Oh, it's Jax. This is just, I've got to show you closer. Wait, is that the back? Shoot, I was showing you the back side. Lord have mercy. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And like I said, this is called Yaya's Boy. I'm going to research, I don't want to say what I, where I think this pattern came from because I may be wrong, but I am going, I think I know where it came from and I'm going to uh, link that down below for you. This is just the most beautiful thing. Jax, thank you. <laughs> Look at, look at the puff stitches up there. Do you see, like right here? Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. My goodness. Jax, thank you so much. This is, this is just, thank you. I don't know what else to say. Thank you, Jaxie Poo. Oh, I'm so sweet. <laughs> okay, well, before I let you go, uh, oh man, I just keep looking at these stitches. I'm just gonna admire this for a while before. <laughs> okay, before I let you go, today is Tuesday, and you know, every Tuesday, I try to offer you a little Tuesday tune. So I'm going to uh, present 
before I go, I'm going to, uh, right here at the end of the thing, I'm going to put in the little clip of the tune, a little tiny piece of a tune. So, if you're interested and you want to take a stab at what tune it is, uh, leave your guess for the name of the song and the artist of the song, and leave your guess in the comments below, and you will be in the drawing for this month's appreciation giveaway okay so every tuesday i give you a little tune if you're not familiar and you you guess at who who did it and who who sung it and what's the name of the song and then at the end of the month me and apollo we do a lot of writing and folding a little piece of paper and we put it in his uh derby hat and we draw a name out and that person gonna get a whole bunch of squishy goodness okay so i'm gonna say goodbye here comes the clip. Bye.